It's your boy Folzy repping slowly. Got a video today and it's gonna be league play. What's going on guys? It's Folzy here. Bring you guys um, some Black Ops 2 gameplay content. And first off, I want to apologize for not putting up a video over the weekend. I'm sorry guys, it was my homecoming weekend. I did some things with some friends, went to the football game, yada yada yada. But um I hope you guys did enjoy the video I did post on Friday. Uh, kind of an in real life thing that was uh, actually my high school football seniors dancing um and it was pretty enjoyable i liked it the crowd really liked it and hopefully also so did the uh the guys like it um and the con the topic of today's video is what's gonna be going down with my channel so what i've decided to do is do videos monday through friday um not saying that I'm not going to be working on videos over the weekend, because the way my life is, I do have a family, I'm the oldest son, uh, I do have a part-time job, and I also do want to keep my grades up and maintain somewhat of a social life, so just have the videos Monday through Friday, with Friday being my personal favorite, or the best video, and I'll be going for the videos all week and trying to come up with the best content available for you guys. But the reason that I really didn't put up a video this weekend was things just completely fell through. Like, I had three or four videos that were I all had planned to be dual comms. Actually, the video that you're watching today is supposed to be a dual comm, as well as the video tomorrow. Um, I had other friends who were like, yeah, let's do a dual comm, but, um... The clips just fell through and nothing came of that. So hopefully, to my friends, we can eventually make a dual com. Um, I would love to do that with you guys, get another person on the channel here. But again, I am really sorry about not posting a video for you guys over the weekend. But um, I think it will be better for my channel to let whatever video I do produce on Friday to be the best one it can be and have the best gameplay for you guys and the best moments and content whether it be a crazy pub stomping performance or an insane league play comeback or even just uh, something that brought a smile to my face and hopefully brings one to yours as well uh, with some wacky moments from me and my friends but um, the gameplay you are watching today is a raid hardpoint game in League Play, and it was made by my friend Unify. Unify, if you guys remember in some of my older videos, he is our assault rifle, and he runs Overkill, which is pretty, pretty crazy to me because I had never thought about doing this. But what he does is he'll use his AR for the long distance gunfights to hold the anchor and his SMG to rush the anchor or rush the hill which is something that I personally enjoy a lot having another support uh, player almost while also being able to maintain himself and stay alive to get us crucial kill streaks. but um I want to talk also to you guys about the Xbox 360 and what is perceived as the last month and a half of Xbox 360. I'm not sure if I'm going to be playing Xbox 360 after the one comes out. Um, I do have some fun games I like on here. Uh, Black Ops 1 was really fun. MW3 Infected is really fun. Uh, uh, Minecraft, I know it's going to be on the Xbox One, but I already do have it on the 360. But if they can add like TNT Run or other mini games like that onto the One, that'll just blow me away and I'll, I will have to get that as soon as possible. Because I like watching TNT Run and actually me and my friends did try to make it on the 360, but that didn't turn out so well. But anyway, and also on my 360, I have a downloaded version of Grand Theft Auto 4. I don't have 5 yet. I'm still playing 4. And I also have Modern Warfare 2 downloaded on my Xbox. So, there's kind of an co interesting conflict I have. It's like, do I just completely get rid of my 360? Or do I keep it around, have it in my HDMI 2 slot? And whenever I just 
feel a little nostalgic and want to pop something up, play something different, uh, pop that in. But let leave that down in the comments. Let me know what I what you guys think I should do. Should I keep it? Should I sell it? Uh, get some little value out of it after the Xbox One comes out. And generally, if you guys have any gameplay suggestions on what type of content I should be posting on here or what you guys would like to see, also leave that down in the comments below. Um, and also, I've been playing a lot, a lot, a lot of Madden 25. Ultimate Team is my favorite thing. And it's really been hard to manage playing Call of Duty, uh, Madden, which I haven't posted on here. And also, I've been playing some of the open beta on Battlefield 4. Now, I might bring you guys a Battlefield 4 video later this week. Leave that down in the comments as well. Um, I'm not the best Battlefield 4 player or Battlefield player in general. Um, I don't know. I love Call of Duty because Call of Duty has no kick, if you want to call it that. Um, I know people say that they like... Battlefield better on the computer PC, but I don't know. I'm a console player at heart, love the consoles, and if Battlefield takes over Call of Duty, I don't want to be all of a sudden having to jump on the bus and starting as a noob, but have some little prior experience on the game. But honestly, I think the game that will take over Call of Duty as the king of the first person shooters is going to be Titanfall releasing next spring. I'm definitely going to be bringing you guys Titanfall gameplay on the Xbox One. And also, I will bring you Call of Duty Ghost. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be playing Ghost on the Xbox 360 at all. I do have a friend who will be getting it on the 360, but I, I think I'm going to wait the two and a half weeks until the Xbox One comes out. So that way, my experience and first thoughts of the game isn't loaded with, ah, 360 sucks, I can't wait till the One comes out. And just build more anticipation and more hype for the game, because I'll be on YouTube watching other people play it and be like, ah, I can't wait till the Xbox One so I can play it. And then... It'll kind of be like a new first Call of Duty experience for me. Because my first was on Black Ops 1 and then MW3. Um, two different games on two different consoles. So now that we add Call of Duty Ghost on the Xbox One, you know, I'm, I have a set group of friends who I will be playing with. Um, and also with my friend who's going to get it on the 360. Uh, he'll have a ton of game experience on that game and let me know hey these are the best guns these are the best perks because I've seen a leaked perk list and what it'll do and I watch YouTube videos so I know what the guns are uh, how cool they are and also a couple of the maps uh, if you guys don't know about that by now you should uh, go on to YouTube, search Call of Duty Ghosts, and then change your filter to today, this week, and then this month, depending on how recent or how fresh you want your information to be. Some of the best in intel, honestly, is, I think, a couple weeks old. Um, I know T-Mart does a good job on his channel with Call of Duty Ghost information, and you guys should really give him a sub. Um, just to be clear, this isn't a... Uh, shout out, I shout you out, you shout me out kind of thing, because I'm doing this for fun. Uh, if I have eight subs for the rest of my life, so be it. I'll still be making videos for you guys and bringing you the best content available. Um, but the video is coming close to an end here. I hope you guys did enjoy the ending and the gameplay. Like I said, I am sorry about not posting a video earlier this weekend, but this Friday you guys will see the best video you have ever seen on my channel. This video will top all the others, and I still haven't made it yet, so I can't tell you what it's gonna be or what's gonna happen. But thank you guys for watching the video. If you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments. If you did enjoy this video, give it a like, thumbs up. Um, if you really enjoyed it, add it to your favorite so you can keep coming back to me and watching my videos forever and ever and ever. 
Uh, again, sorry about the audio and video quality, but until next time, I'm Folzy. Good night, and thank you.